Welcome. Uh, in this example, we will use the passive sign convention as well as the uh, law of energy conservation to figure out power generated or absorbed by a voltage source Vs uh, shown right here. Before we go into trying to solve this problem, let's quickly do a, uh, a review of passive sign convention. Passive sign convention is basically a reference convention. Since there is current and voltage that have uh, both magnitude and polarity, uh, passive sign convention basically says for any element, uh, the current enters the positive voltage node and exits out of the negative voltage node. If that's the case, if current enters from the positive side and comes out of the negative side, power, which is written as P equals voltage times current, is positive, positive for devices that follow the passive sign convention and negative for devices that do not follow the passive sign convention. Okay, so in this case, we look at this particular element. We see two amps is going to the positive terminal, so it's following the passive sign convention. In this case, we see that one amp is going through two volts this way, and it's also following the passive sign convention. So let's figure out what the power is for this element. We have two amps of current with one volt following the passive sign convention. In other words, the power is plus two watts. The positive sign in front of the power means that power is being absorbed. So that means uh, power is being absorbed, a positive sign. If it's generated, then the power is a negative sign. Okay, so here's two watts positive. So this element is absorbing power. Let's take a look at this element. One amp is going into the positive terminal, so it is following passive sign convention. So power is voltage two volts times one amp, so we get a total of two watts in this case as well, and it's plus two watts. So again, power is absorbed by this element. Now let's take a look at this particular element, the current source right there. The current source as shown has three amps of current, a total of three amps of current is coming out of the positive terminal. Now current is not going into the positive terminal. One of the things we should do in this case, since we're working with passive sign convention, is we can take a look at this and say, wait, if three amp is coming out of the positive terminal, I can set this device and the current in this direction right here and write this as minus three amps. And now negative three amps is going to the positive side of the voltage source. So it is now following passive sign convention. So minus three amps times two volt leads me to negative, negative six watts. So minus sign again, basically just means on the power that power is actually being generated. So, so far of all the elements that have power uh, that we uh, have information on both the voltage and the current, we figured out two elements that absorb a total of power of four watts, two watts each, and an element that generates a power of negative six watts. Now by a law of conservation of energy, the total power generated in a system plus the total power absorbed must equal to zero. Now using this principle, let's see, we don't know the total voltage across this Vs across this source and that's, uh, we want to find the power generated or absorbed by this particular source. So to do that, let's say, let's say that the power of this voltage source, we don't know if it's absorbed or generated, plus the power absorbed by this, plus the power absorbed by this, plus the power generated by this should be equal to zero. So in other words, voltage source minus six watts plus two watts plus two watts is equal to zero. And if we simplify that, we end up getting the power uh, uh, across power of the voltage source to be equal to plus two watts. Now remember what the plus sign is saying. The plus sign is saying that power is being absorbed. So this voltage source is in fact absorbing two watts of power. So let's see, two watts of power is absorbed by the voltage source, two watts across this element, two watts across this element. That's a total of six watts of power abs that's absorbed. This current source is generating six watts of power. So in other words, we have a total of six watts being absorbed and six watts being generated. So the law of energy conservation holds. In this particular example, the voltage source is actually absorbing power, right? Because there's another source of energy here that's actually the main supplier of energy. Okay, so this concludes this video on passive sign convention and energy conservation.